Hey everyone, it's Greg again from D-Link, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a My D-Link camera. Now the first thing we need to do to install the camera is download the setup installer. To do that, we need to go to the My D-Link website, which is www.mydlink.com. Once you get to the site here, you want to just click on the support tab at the top. And from here, you want to select the camera that you're trying to install. In this example, we're going to install the DCS 942L. So once I've selected the camera under the wizard heading, I want to select the setup wizard I want to download. In this case, we're using Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows setup wizard. It's going to prompt me to save it. We would suggest saving it to somewhere that's easily found, such as your desktop. So I'm going to select save as, choose my desktop, and save it there. So once the setup wizard has finished downloading, you can just minimize your web browser. And if you go to where you just downloaded the file, it's going to be a zip file. We're just going to double click on it. And inside there, you're going to have an advanced folder. Again, we're going to double click on that. And inside the advanced folder, you should have an autorun.exe file. You want to double click on that. That's going to launch the installer. With the installer up, we're going to click on start to begin. We just have to accept these terms and conditions. Hit next. Okay, now comes the physical connection of the camera. So the first thing that it's going to ask you to do is plug the Ethernet cable into the camera. So once you've done that, you want to plug the other end of that cable into your Ethernet router. Okay, the initial setup, even if you want to set up the camera over wireless, the initial setup or the first time setup must be done with a wire. So once you've connected the camera to the router, go ahead and click next. Then it's just a matter of powering up the camera. Now, if you've done all these steps prior to running the wizard, you can just hit next after each one. So at the end of connecting the camera, if you look on the back of the camera, the little LED should be green. Okay, hitting next. Again, it's, a, it's going to confirm that the light is green. If it is, click yes. And the setup wizard is now going to search for the camera on your network. So once it's found it, you want to just put a check or a dot next to that camera. And then right down below here, it's going to ask you to set up a password for the camera. The default username is admin. And then, what, then you can enter in whatever password you want for the camera. After you've entered in your password, just go ahead and click on next. And it's going to apply that password now to the camera. The next step now is to choose the type of connection that you want to use. So whether you want to have the camera wired or wireless. So by default, it's going to default to Ethernet cable, which is your wired connection. However, if you want to go wireless, there's two different options to do this. By using WPS, or Wi-Fi Protected Setup. If you're not sure about this or you're not sure if your router supports this, then you can choose the second option by selecting a wireless network. So by choosing this option, the camera is going to scan for all the available wireless networks. And in the drop-down list, you want to choose your network. So home network is my network. Under wireless password, you're going to enter in the wireless password for your network. All right, once you've done that, go ahead and click on next. going to save these settings to the camera and reboot the camera. So here it prompts me to unplug the Ethernet cable from the camera. So I've just done that. Clicked on OK. And now the camera is going to reboot and apply your settings. Now, once the camera has saved your settings, it, the next thing it's going to do is ask you if you want to use the My Dealing service. So in this case, we are. So you have three different options here. So you have, yes, I already have a My Dealing account. So if you already have an existing account and maybe you're just adding this camera to it, you can select that option and you would enter in your existing My Dealing username and password. If you do not already have an account and this is your first camera, then you would choose, no, I want to sign up for a new account. 
And from here, you would enter in an email address and password um, for your account. And then the last option is if you do not want to use the My Dealing service, you can just put a check in that box and hit next. However, in this case, we're going to create a new account. So here I'm going to enter in an email address. And a password. And enter my name. You could put a check in the box if you want to receive emails about dealing services and products. That one's a, it's not mandatory. However, you do need to put a check in this one that you've read and accept the terms of use. All right, once you've done that, go ahead and click next. At this point now, it's gonna add your camera to the MyDealink account. This should only take a few moments. All right, and now the setup is complete. So you, there is an option here now to add an internet shortcut to the MyDealink site. Okay, that will take you to your account. So I'm just gonna click on finish and it's automatically gonna relaunch the web browser and take you to your login. So here we're gonna log into my new account. And now it's gonna take me right into my D-Link account where it's gonna show me my new camera. All right, and that's it. So now you've successfully set up your new My Dealing camera. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dealink.ca.